All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. So in today's vlog, I'm gonna do another cold calling session. This one's gonna be short though. I'm only gonna call for 30 minutes to see how many people I can get to pick up the phone in the next 30 minutes. We're calling at 5.26 in the afternoon, so this is gonna be a pretty prime time to be able to try and get in contact with some of these people. So, wish me the best. Let's see how this works out. In case you're wondering, I'm using Mojo Dialer and we're gonna dial in here. I'm using a triple line dialer. So that means it makes three, three phone calls at a time, which is the you most effective way to call. Mojo dialer. Please press the start button on your screen to begin calling. It's the most effective uh, way to call. It's, it's fast, it's convenient. I don't have to be sitting here pressing numbers on my phone. It's just gonna automatically go and just start writing. Uh, yesterday I did a thousand sixty something phone calls. Um, today my goal is only like maybe 150. So this list is pretty short. There's like 117 people on here. Uh, it would take me about two hours to probably call everybody. So 30 minutes, I know I'm gonna be able to blow by this and maybe get something um, out there. So let's see. Usually I'll text something first. This is a brand new list. It's not a driving for dollars list. This is uh, just vacant land. Um, don't really have to drive for dollars for vacant land, but wish me luck. Let's go. Cisco Unity Connection Messaging System. Your call has been forwarded to an automated been forwarded to an automated voice message. Hello. Hello. Hey, uh, sorry to bother you. My name is Dan. I I'm looking for the owner of 504 Bonnie Street in Shelby. I don't live in Shelby Township. Okay. By any chance, do you know who Christine London is? No, I do not. Alrighty then. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great day. You as well. Thank you. So not the owner on that one. Just trying to move along, be as fast as possible and uh, be as efficient as possible. Hello. We are not available now. You have reached 248-773-7532. Arnold, may I help you? Hi, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I have the right number now, but I'm looking for the owner of 1401 Stonegate Drive in Shelby. Uh, are you, are you looking for, for the owner? Yeah, uh, Arnold Gibbs. Do you know who he is by any chance? Uh, he's deceased. Sorry to hear that. Um, well, are you one of the heirs of that property? I am not. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you know who I would have to contact uh, as far as who might own that property? Um, I know she's not interested in selling. Okay, I completely understand All right. that. Bye-bye. All right, thank you so much. I'm gonna take that as that's not the owner. Six minutes in, we've already made 20 phone calls. Hello. Hi, uh, sorry to bother you, but I I'm looking for the owner of 920 Airport Road in Shelby. Uh, is that you? No, it's not. Okay, would you happen to know who Andrew Price is by any chance? That's my dad. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the reason I was calling, I was just wondering if he had any interest in selling that property. It's just a vacant lot. Okay, and what address was that? I think he might have multiple properties. So let me, I can ask him for you. Um, are you okay if I take your phone number down for him to give you a call back? Yeah, that's not a problem. Okay. And what's your phone number? Okay. One, two, nine, two. One, two, nine, two. And what was your name again? Dan. Okay, good deal. All right, sweet. Well, I, he's out of town right now, but I will um, ask him to give you a call whenever he gets a moment, if that's all right. Okay, that works. All right, good deal. I'll let him know. All right, thank you so much. Have a good one. You're welcome. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. So I, I wrote down that she was the daughter, but I deleted her phone number. I still want to call all the other phone numbers until I get a hold of him. If I'm doing a dialing session again, I'll call her again and see if, you know, maybe I can get in contact with her father. Or maybe she can give me his uh, phone number. Hey, uh, Hello. yeah, sorry to bother you. I'm, I'm looking for the owner of 920 Airport Road in Shelby. Is, is that you? No, no, sir. By any chance, do you know who Andrew Price is? All right, man. Well, do you have any property or land you might be interested in selling by any chance? No, sir. All righty then. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great day. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a... Hello? Hi. Uh, sorry to bother you. I'm, I'm looking for the owner of 1401 Stonegate Drive in Shelby. Is that you? No, that was my sister and brother-in-law and they both passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, well, do you know who still might control that property? Their daughter out of the country for a while. Oh, what, where is she at, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I'd rather not divulge that. 
I understand that. Uh, the, the only reason why I'm asking is that I would actually like to purchase that property. So uh -huh. I, I was just reaching out to see if I could find the owner or talk to the owner. Uh, if you'll call Hyman Lynch at Arnold's Jewelry, that is Frida's brother. She owned the house and her husband owned the house. And maybe he can give you some information. Alrighty then. And what was the jewelry shop's name? Arnold's Jewelry. All right, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Uh-huh, bye. Bye-bye. Gotta love these small towns. They always know some of the friends or family. I'm gonna put the number in for that jewelry shop. Hello. Hi, so sorry to bother you. I'm looking for the owner of 920 Airport Road uh, in Shelby, is that oh, you? Oh, I don't know, you have, the, you have the wrong number. Do you know who Andrew Price is by any chance? Seven, zero. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail. Please leave your message for... Hello? Hi, uh, so, sorry to bother you. I'm, I'm looking for the owner of 1401 Stonegate Drive in Shelby. Is that you? No. No. Nope. By any chance, do you know who Arnold it's Gibbs not. is? No. Alrighty then. Well, I live in Concord. Alrighty. Thank All right. You. Thank you so much. Have a great day. My call time is 14 minutes. I already made 47 phone calls. Hello. Your call cannot be taken at the moment, so please leave. Hello. Hey, um, sorry to bother you. I'm, I'm looking for the owner of a property at 101 Davidson Street in Kings Mountain. This is she. Hey, uh, I, I was just calling to see if y'all had any interest in selling that property. <coughs> yes, I do. Okay. Who am I speaking to? M my name is Dan. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, do you I would like to sell. Do you have a couple of minutes uh, to talk about it real quick? Sure. Okay. Um, well, c could you tell me what type of condition it's in? Have you done any type of renovations on it in the last couple of years? No, it's just an empty lot. Okay. Uh, I was just seeing if you've done any grading, any any taps on it or anything like no, that? No, uh-uh. No, just somebody keeps the grass cut. Oh, okay. That's nice. Um, well, what would you like to get for that lot? I don't know. I don't know nothing about real estate. Okay. Was there a house on it previously? Huh? Was there a house on it previously or no? Yeah, a long time ago. Okay. All right. Well. Yes, it's got a water line, you know, on it. All right. And the driveway that's there, is that like, was that a private driveway only for that house or is, the, is it shared by another house? Um. Well, it's shared by that house that's beside it. It used to be a street, you know, from King Street. You come on Davidson and you go all the way around and it would take you to Castle Street. But, um, you know, they tore all those houses and stuff down and it was just my house and then the house next door. It's an empty lot in between. And then there's another old house. I think they're working on something over there. Okay. Um, well, let me ask you a question. Do you think that, oh, yeah. you know, $10,000 would be a fair offer for that lot? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I do. And... Who am I talking to? Dan? Uh-huh. Um... If $10,000 will work for you, that's something that would work for me. Um, can I meet up with you or even I can send you a, a purchase agreement via email? Um, yeah, so you can meet up with me. I stay down here on Floyd Street. On Floyd Street? Yeah. Okay, what- Are you what? from this mountain? So I live nearby, I live in Gastonia. Um, oh, okay, well yeah. Uh, after you get off, like coming up 85, once you take the business exit in the King's Mountain, I stay that first right. You turn there. I'm going to give you my address, and that way you can put it in GPS. Okay. Go ahead whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, what time would work for you? Uh, anytime. I'm at home all the time. Okay. What I'll do is uh, I'll give you a call tomorrow uh, when I'm heading that way. And um, uh -huh. yeah, once you sign the purchase agreement, it doesn't give me any rights to the property, it's only just telling me basically we agreed on a price. We'll uh -huh. go, we'll take it to the closing attorney. They'll do their their title search, and uh -huh. you'll get a check at closing. Okay, yeah, I'm the I'm the only heir. Everybody else is dead. Okay, all right. Well, that okay. that works out. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, that make it easier. So what I'll go ahead. We get that be fine. 
All right, well, what I'll do is tomorrow, I'll call you probably around two o'clock and I I'll head over down okay. that way. All right, I'll be here. All righty, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. You have a good night. You too, Bye -bye. thank you. So calls like that, that's actually a, a, a pretty big surprise. Not only that, if she took 10,000, that means she would have taken less. But 10,000 is fair. I know that I could uh, make some good money off that lot, even though it doesn't really have a right away, but you know, we'll see. So I'll go tomorrow, get this contract signed for 10. It's in a pretty, uh, pretty up and coming area of Kings Mountain. So we'll see what happens. Nice live call. Uh, I asked her what the condition of the property was because uh, on the street view, is actually a house so this is what i saw i'm gonna go ahead and get you over here that's what i saw so i was like oh, okay there's a house there or i'm calling a house which no house but let's keep going real quick just a recap on how long i've been calling here 21 minutes 54 phone calls so let's jump back in this real quick make sure i got a follow-up in here yes Hello. Hi, uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, I'm looking for the owner of a property at 414 Clegg Street in Shelby. I is that you? Mm, no, no. Okay, do you know who it. Geneva Hawkins is by any chance? No, no, it's not me. Alrighty, uh, would you happen to have any property or land you might be interested in selling by any chance? No, no, I don't. Alrighty then, well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great day. You too. Bye bye. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, this is Faith. Leave me a message. Hello. Hi, uh, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm, I'm looking for the owner of 807 Tenda Place in Shelby. I, is that you? How can I help you? Uh, the only reason for my call today, uh, I was just wondering if you had any plans for that property. No, not at this time. Who am I speaking with? My name is Dan. Um, no. Uh, do you have any? Actually, my uncle is, is over the property. Oh, okay. Uh, the other reason I ask, I, I was just wondering if y'all might have any interest in selling that property. Your name is Dan. And is this your number that showed up on my call ID? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I can give my uncle the information. Where are you from? I, I'm right here in Gastonia. I'm not too far. Okay, are you a realtor or no, what is your business? I, I'm an investor. I, I buy a few houses every now and then. So I'm, I'm just looking around in okay. the area. I, I've bought a few in Shelby. Okay. All right. I'll give him the information. All righty. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. She was a little hostile at first, but... So she's not the owner, but her uncle is, I guess, the one that's overseeing the property right now. So I'm going to go ahead and delete her. And I'm not going to mark this as contacted because I didn't talk to the actual person who's controlling the property. Hello? Hi, uh, sorry to bother you. I'm looking for the owner of a property at 203 Margaret Street. Is that you? That'd be me. Hey, bud. Uh, sorry to bother you so late this afternoon. I, I was just wondering if y'all had any plans with that property. Uh, no, not at this particular time, I don't. Okay, uh, do you think that, you know, maybe sometime in the future or, or even now, you'd have any interest in selling that property? I am actually getting ready to list that property and 205 Market Street. And 205? Yes. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what, what are you looking to get for it? Or for both of them, actually? For both of them together, I, I want to clear after closing and everything about 275 to 280. 275 to 280? Yep, for um, both property. If, uh, if now is okay, uh, do you mind if I ask you just a couple quick questions about them? Sure. Um, well, ha have you done any type of renovations or repairs to any of the properties in the past couple of years? The house was renovated in 2015. Okay, nice. Um, well, that, that answers all my the questions. Other, the, <laughs> the other property has a the other property has a mobile home on. Okay, what, do you know what year the mobile home is by any chance? I think I think it's the 1970. 1970. Okay. Um, is it livable or is just sitting there? I, I I use it for storage. Okay. It probably hasn't been lived in in the last five or six years. Okay. I mean it it could it could be you know renovated. There's a few things that need to be done to it, but I have no interest in doing that. I completely understand that. Yeah. All right. Um. Well, how about this? If if I could make what you want work, and of course that would be me covering all the closing costs 
uh, you wouldn't have to pay anything out of pocket. Basically, what we agree upon is what you'd walk away with. Do you mind if I give you a call back to see if I can make those numbers work? Uh, sure, but uh, I'm not gonna budge on those numbers. I totally understand that. Okay, and- Sure, like, like I said, I'm getting ready to list them both anyway. If you want to buy it for what I want, I, we'll make a deal. All right, well, um, what was your name again? Buddy Rice. All right, buddy. Well, my name is Dan. Um, I I'll give you a call back probably in the next, if I don't give you a call back in the next hour or so, I'll probably give you a call tomorrow. Uh, but I'm gonna talk it over with my partner and see what we can do and, and see if that'll work for us. Sounds good? Okay, that sounds good. All right, buddy. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great afternoon. Thanks, sir. You too. All right, bye-bye. All right, so I'm guessing that um, this land list isn't really a land list. Well, I think mobile homes count as vacant land in land vision. That's what I used to uh, pull this list. And just to check real quick, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna add him in my follow-ups, that way I can call him tomorrow. But let me see here. Where's this located? That's the, that's the real question. Location is key with any real, real estate. Uh, he's on the north side. That's all right, nice neighborhood though. Pretty nice neighborhood. All right, let's keep going. I still got a couple more minutes left before I call it short, before I cut it short here, uh, cause I wanna go out to dinner. So let's keep going. Uh, hello? Hello? Please leave your message for Hello, you've reached 336-643-5994. We are unable to take your phone call at this time. Please leave your name and number after the tone, and we will return your phone call as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dan. Um, I'm not sure if I have the right number or not, but I'm looking for the owner of 30, uh, 33, I'm sorry, 334 Buffalo Street in Shelby. If you can, give me a call. My number is 704-313. Hello, this is Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Uh, Hello? Yeah, sorry to bother you. I'm, I'm looking for the owner of 102 Collinger Street in Kings Mountain. Is that you? That is not me. Do you know who John Biddy is by any chance? I do not. All right, boss. Well, um, just a quick question. Uh, would you happen to have any property or land you might be interested in selling? I do not. All right, man. Well, I appreciate your time anyway. I hope you have a great day. All right, you too. Bye. Thank you for calling Agent R Block. This call may be recorded for quality. Calling a dental office of Dr. Elise Newsom. Our office hours are Monday, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Hello. Hey, uh, sorry to bother you. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the owner of uh, 1158 East Marion Street. Is that you? Wrong number. Uh, by any chance, do you know who Feta uh, Robbie wrong is? Up, wrong number, sir. I don't own any property. No problem, bud. Well, I hope you have a great day. Me too. I'm afraid Shelby, this is James speaking. How may I help you? Hey, James, I got the wrong number. Sorry about that. Hello? Hi, uh, uh, sorry to bother you. I'm, uh, I'm looking for the owner of a property at 1208 Patterson Street. Is that you? No, nope, it's not. All right, um, well, well, since I have you here, uh, would you happen to have any property or land you might be interested in selling? Nope, sure don't. All right then, boss. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great day. All right, you too. Good luck. Hey, uh, sorry to bother you. I'm, uh, I'm looking for the owner of 1208 Patterson Street in Shelby. Is that you? Uh, uh, you got the wrong number. All right, man. Uh, would you happen to have any land or, or property you might be interested in selling? Yeah. All right, boss. Well, um, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great day. 40 minutes, 95 phone calls made. Made two contacts, two leads. Sorry, I can't take your call at this time. Please leave a message. Hello? Hi, uh, sorry to bother you. I'm, I'm looking for the owner of uh, 102 Collinger Street in Kings Mountain. I, is that you? Uh, no. Who, who, who might you be looking for? Um, I'm looking for somebody by the name of John Biddy. That's my father. Okay. Uh, 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 do you know if he might have any interest in selling that property? It's it's a lot in Kings Mountain. Yeah, uh, my my dad's dead. Uh, how how do you, how do you get this information? By chance, Dude, I'm, I'm just uh, you know after help me out, I just don't. Okay. I uh, thought this was well, sold, but I'm not a hundred percent sure about that. Well, I I could tell you right now that uh, that lot was never sold. 
Uh, there was a house on it, but it was torn down. Um, okay. So it belongs to the heirs of your father, which would be you and any siblings that you may have. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, and and what did you say this address was? Because I've been, I know what you're talking about. I know that piece of property. I've been there, but it's been so long. One like, whenever I was younger. Yeah, it's uh, 102 Collinger Street in Kings Mountain, North Carolina. It's right off of uh, okay. Margrace Road. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to ask about that. And if, if, uh, um, if I find anything out, I'll call you back. Well, um, by, by any chance, do you have any siblings, any brothers or sisters? Uh, I do, yeah, but, but they wouldn't know any more about that than I would. Okay, well, just to uh, let you know how it would work, basically, um, since this property was your father's, uh, you and your brothers and sisters would be the rightful heirs to the property, and mm -hmm. if you chose to sell it, all of you would have to be in agreement and um, basically just move forward with the attorney's office and you guys get paid. Okay. Um, considering yeah, I, um, Are you a contractor or just private? I, I buy houses yeah. and land for a living. So, so this is mostly okay. what All I right. just do. If you guys uh, okay. did All come right. to an agreement though, I, I would pay you 10,000 for the lot. Okay. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure there's some back taxes and liens against it from when the house was torn down, but I would cover that. So you guys would walk away with the 10,000 in your pocket. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, let me, uh, let me talk to some people. Um, and then, uh, if I find anything out, I'll, I'll get back to you. All right. Um, let me ask you this. Would you mind if I reached back out to you and just showed you a couple things, public records that show that you guys might be the owner? Um, yeah, I don't see a problem with that. Okay. Yeah, um, I, I'll send you the deed and uh, any any paperwork that shows that you guys would still own the property. Okay. Yeah, I would appreciate that. All right. And and what was your name again? Uh, it's Cameron. Yeah, Cameron Biddy. All right, Cameron. Well, my name is Dan. Um, I, I'll I'll be in touch Dan? with you. Yeah. I, I'll send you a text. Uh, a couple screenshots with just the information of the property and um, I hope to hear from you. Okay, all right, yeah, uh, thanks a lot. Yeah, not a problem, buddy. Take it easy. All right, all right, bye. All right, so this one's a good one. This is primarily why I love doing this. So this guy didn't even know he owned the property, didn't even know if his dad still owned it or not. A lot of people don't even know when they own stuff anymore or when their parents die off. You know, nobody takes care of the property, so it's in limbo. So I, I'm gonna go ahead and send him any information that he needs or you know, some information that way he can come to a better decision and talk to his brothers and sisters about it to see what they're gonna do with it. So now that I know that this guy is dead, I'm also gonna look up his obituary, which, you know what, I'll do it while I'm here. There we go. His name is John Biddy. That's a pretty distinct name, I've never heard the last name Biddy before. So I'm guessing, yep, this is his mom. Um, his mom passed away, sad to hear that. He passed away in 2017. So I'm guessing he passed away not too far after. So I'm guessing he probably passed within the last couple of years. Which is cool, I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep up with him. I have him in my uh, follow-ups here. That way I can go ahead and make that deal happen. And if I can, it's a beautiful lot. It's in a really hot area. Probably could make like 30, 40,000 off of it if it's not too bad in the taxes. But I'm gonna go for a few more calls. Let me see, where am I at right now? So we're at 48 minutes, 102 phone calls. I'm gonna go for 10 more minutes and see uh, what we could do. What we can stir up pretty hot today. My last cold calling session sucked. If you're gonna call land, I'll tell you right now, you gotta know what you're calling because uh, you know, land is a different animal. You know, we are calling all types of land from, you know, just a regular infill lot to 40 acres. So you gotta know what you can offer and what you'd be able to give. Marcella Jar Rattleback with the United Way of the New River Valley. Please leave me a message and I'll return your call just as soon as possible. Thank you. Hello, uh, this is Will. Leave a message. Sorry I missed your call and I'll get back to you. Thank you for calling your State Farm agent. You are being forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Hello, we are not available now. 
please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Hi, my name is Dan. I'm looking for the owner of a property at 941 East Marion Street. If you can give me a call, 704-313-1292. Thank you. Hello? Hello. Hi, uh, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm, I'm looking for the owner of 409 Leander Street in Shelby. Is that you? Uh, no, sir. Uh, by any chance, do you know who Brian Hawkins is? I do. Um, the, the only reason why I'm asking, I, I was looking to see if maybe he had any interest in selling that property. Um, that would be a question you would have to ask him. Um, and I think it's for, they live at 411 Leander Street. Oh, he lives at 411? Yeah, 409 is a, it's a vacant it's lot. The vacant lot, yeah. I, I doubt they would want to sell it. Okay, um, is there any way that you could help me get in contact with him? I have a couple phone numbers here, but I don't know if they're the right ones or not. Which one do you have for him? I have one ending in 7809 6890 Yeah, that would be it. 6890? All right. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it, man. It, greatly, it, it helps me You're out. Welcome. All right, well, you have yourself a great day. I appreciate it. Even though I had no idea whether he would verify it for me. At least now I have the owner's phone number. I know who to contact. Hey, you reached Dana Brackett with Jones Lang LaSalle. Please leave your message and I will return your call just as soon as I can. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Mrs. Brackett. My name is Dan. I'm calling about a property I think you met on, 941 East Marion Street. If you can, give me a call, uh, 704-313. Thank you and have a great day. The only reason why I left the message is because her last name matched the name of the uh, the person that I was calling. Got four more Got four more minutes left. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. Has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Seven, zero. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, sorry, sorry to bother you. I'm, I'm looking for the owner of a property at 941 East Marion Street. Is, is that you? Yeah. Um, would you happen to know who Ralph Bickett is? Or Brackett is, I'm sorry? No. I just moved to Chattanooga um, probably two, two months ago, two and a half months ago. Oh, okay. So yeah. This is an Oxford house. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm calling about a vacant lot in Shelby, North Carolina. Oh, yeah. Um, this is, um, this is off, I live on, uh, or the house is on Claremont, off of Germantown, so. Okay. All right, then, boss. Well, I appreciate your time anyway. Sure. Okay, good luck. All right, bye-bye. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone. Oh. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Call, but if you leave your name and number, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hello, this is Dan. Hi, this is Crystal with the Business Funding Department. Can you hear me okay? All right, so I cut my session short here. So total amount of calls here. Let me make sure that this is refreshed. So an hour and one minute, we made 148 phone calls, made three contacts, three leads. Um, one of them, the guy didn't even know that his father still owned that property. Got another lady that she just agreed to $10,000. I'm gonna go get that contract signed tomorrow. And then the other guy that he wants like 270K for two houses. So that's pretty much it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys found this valuable and I will catch you guys on another vlog.